Hi everybody. I, it's the second time I'm doing this because I realized that there was no volume in the previous one. So I would love to hear if, if you hear me and if you have a volume. All right. So um, uh, what I'm talking about in this uh, broadcast is about gypsy uh, picking and about the guitar style playing of Django Reinhardt. Hi guys, just please uh, leave me a message here if you hear me because I had a problem with the microphone in my previous broadcast, so I cancel it and start a new one. So please write on the chat that you hear me. And it will also be good to hear you, where are you from, uh, and uh, to know that I'm not alone here in the live video. All right, so please write me if uh, the sound is well and if the picture is right, okay? So uh, we are talking about this, the, the sound and the style of Django Reinhardt. And Django Reinhardt, you know, he is, it was a jazz guitarist who um, he, he put the, the guitar on the front stage, you know, in, in jazz guitar, in, in the world of jazz. There wasn't a jazz guitar the way it is today without Django Reinhardt. You know, all the biggest the guitarists like Jim Hall, Pat Metheny, Wes Montgomery, you name it, marked him as his biggest influence. And um, and Django took the guitar and had the, the special characteristics uh, of the guitars, like the sound effects. And um, in, like technically, he produced much more sound and was able to create much more energy when he played. So I created a new course about gypsy jazz playing and about the style of John Reinhardt, where I show everything about it there. Let's take, for example, a song. Oh, thank you, Peter, about the, 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 the comment on the sound. Where are you from? It's good to know where are you from, guys. And... Um, Let's take a recording that Django made in 1934 for the song of Dinah with his band, the Hot Club, the Friends, and I will play it for you now, and uh, we'll talk about the, the, the amazing stuff that he put inside. <laughs> Germany. Hey, Germany. So, this beautiful version of Django, he played things that no one played before. <laughs> On guitar, stuff like that. The chromatics, right? you know? One of the biggest, uh, you know, uh, marks of gypsy jazz is the chromatic run and all these beautiful phrases. So, let's talk a little bit on the how to play this, uh, about the right hand technique, and then about what to play, it's about the left hand technique. So, hey, I cannot make a complete, you know, explanation, a complete uh, course about Gypsy Jazz speaking now, but just to give you a few tips, if you're interested in it, you have my complete course for Gypsy Jazz speaking, where you have the link in the description here, which is now available to register for only a few days. Um, Let's uh, make the camera a little bit better so you see the guitar better. All right, here, here. So 
You know about your right right hand picking. So your right hand should be loose when you play. If you want to get the gypsy jazz picking style, you have um, you cannot hold it straight like that because then it's not free. You need you need to have your wrist slightly bent when you play, and then when your arm and wrist is loose, you want to hit the string and lean on the string before. You see when I play down string, I lean on the string before. So each new string that I start to play at, I use a down stroke, all right? And I want to start a string with an up stroke, and I want, you know, hold my hand like that. No, I will play from here, even when I play very slow. And also when I play very fast. Okay, I'm always playing with my hand. With very, uh, very, 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 um, I will answer later. Very, very, very uh, easy and uh, relaxed. All right, so this is one thing. And the second thing, oh, just a second, I'm sorry. Hello? Can I be a shidur chai mamik? Can I be a shidur chai mamik? Can I be a shidur chai mamik? All right, sorry for that. Um, so, when we played, if we take, for example, this. This phrase that we had. For example, so you start with a down stroke, and then you have another down stroke on the first string. Down, you play the sweep. Why sweep? Because it's the same down, we start each, each string with a down stroke, so I have down, 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 all right, it's not down and down again, or down, up, or something like that, and this flexibility, down, sweep, up, down, pull off, up, down, sweep, up, down, pull off, up, this is, for example, one phrase, Right, <clears throat> so um, so if you want to have you know a very very big confidence when you play the guitar, and uh, then you must have a very very good technique because the what the how you play, the way you produce your sound is uh, very important for your uh, for your uh, confidence when you play with the guitar. Also. The connection with the guitar when you play the connection with you and the guitar and the sound it's very uh, has a close relation to the technique that you have. If you have a very good technique, then you have a good connection with the guitar. If your technique is not so good, then you also feel like the notes are not bright, they're not clean, and you won't feel the energy of the music. You won't feel the instrument and the feeling. So if you're interested in, in uh, getting the, the sound of John Reinhardt, what is better than learning the most important phrases of the style, of John Reinhardt's style, together with the best guidance that you can get for your technique. So in my course, which I'm just uh, launching, it's for only a few days, there is option to register. You get all the, the core elements that you must implement in your playing to get the right sound and the right technique. And also a huge collection. I've never seen such a collection of gypsy jazz phrases, all the phrases that makes gypsy jazz what it is. There are so many ex, uh, aspects of uh, the, this technique, for example, because the reason that you start each string with a downstroke, sometimes it creates a complex situation. When you play down, down, you have a downstroke of the first string and then a downstroke on the second string. And you have down, down. And this down, down over double down over strings, for example, a little bit difficult instead of playing 
the upper half, right? Like a opposite sweep. So we don't do it in Gypsy Jazz. We play down, down, down. But you can also change your fingering and play the note E instead here, here. What explains also how Django played it with only two fingers. He didn't play like that. He played like that. For example, you know, there is a Hungarian tune, Oa Martisuluri. Okay, this is pretty fast. Now, in order to make it easy for me to play, I choose a fingering here that allows me to finish each string with an upstroke, and then I start the next string with a downstroke, and then I don't have this double down situation. Now, it's very important to learn how to play this double down. For example, if you take this phrase, you have down, 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 you have it all the time. So it's important to learn it. But there are always situations that you choose different fingerings to make your picking more smoother. So this is another aspect of chips just picking <clears throat> that, of course, I'm covering in the course. Let me play the complete solo of Django for you, again. It's just an arpeggio. Oh, this is very important, for example, for the sound of Django Reiner. Instead of playing... This is the phrase. Django plays with ups. You hear it? Like a gross note with an up stroke. So every phrase that you take, even if you take just, you know, we are in A minor and you want to play minor swing. And now, just a simple arpeggio, but The plane might make it more bouncing, right? So um, the complete arpeggio, uh, the complete, the ultimate course for gypsy jazz picking is open for registration now. What you learn inside is, um, you know what? Let me read for you. I don't have a way to share the screen here, you know. But you have so many chapters. I will read it for you. You learn how to the story of gypsy jazz, how gypsy jazz evolved, uh, what hardware I use and such thing. And then you learn all the fundamentals of the rest stroke picking, how do all the pick, the right hand movements, when to play down stroke, up stroke, sweep. You have a lot of close up and a lot of exercises to really master the technique. <clears throat> then there are a lot of picking, move, pick, picking patterns, you know, there are a lot of phrases with the same pattern, like this. Or this. It's down, up, down, 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 up, down, sweep, down, up, down, up, down, sweep, down, up. It's a pattern, a lot of patterns. I changed the phrase, but in my right hand, it's the same pattern. So a lot of picking patterns with phrases with picking patterns inside that I'm sharing with you a lot. 15 lessons about that. Ornaments, it's very important to learn ornaments because if you only take a, a, an arpeggio, and you don't give life to it, it's boring. But when you play the, the uh, ornament, I just take the arpeggio, but I add ornaments. So there are many ornaments, but, okay, 
It was a simple arpeggio. But by adding ornaments, you can create the arpeggio. Much, much, much more interesting. Uh, there is, of course, the chromatic scales and all the chromatic uh, ideas, you know. How to play all this, uh, you know, all these chromatic ideas that sound tight and good. And how to play with arpeggios, how to make arpeggios interesting, how to create phrases with open arpeggios. Uh, Oh, arpeggios with open strings, you know, there are all these kind of phrases like this one. That you start from an open string. And you know, there is also, you start with open string and then you continue on the rest of the guitar. Look how many open strings. So all these ideas I explained in, in a lot of details. It's about nine hours of videos and almost 100 pages of PDF that explain everything. And then you have all the roles, chordal effects, octaves, you know, in gypsy jazz, you, you do a lot of this stuff. <laughs> Right. So I'm showing all this to in the course. Very interesting. And get down. You can also read what people are saying. There are so many comments about people who say that they had so they improved their playing so much with this course. <clears throat> Uh, I've been working someone by someone wrote I've been working through this course for a few months and I've been seeing massive improvement in my playing you know so if you really want to improve your gypsy jazz picking and to learn a massive collection of uh, phrases from Django Reinhardt this is a golden opportunity to join there are tons of bonuses so if I teach you how to play phrases with with uh, arpeggios so I also give you a bonus of a complete course of all the arpeggios you need in the world and how to use them and how to learn song from the beginning to the end. So there are many bonuses too. So uh, take a look at the description, uh, check out this course. If you want to join, if you really want to improve your playing, take it to the next level in, in the style of Django Reinhardt. So this is your time to join. Okay, it was a pleasure being here with you today and I hope to see you inside. Bye-bye.